Just take me through the process of, you know, wanting to commit, like maybe thinking that you were close to a decision and then obviously changing your mind to continue your recruitment a little bit. Uh, basically, the relationship I have with the coaches, I haven't said with school yet, but, you know, coming in, I almost committed when I first got the offer. Uh, day in and day out, you know, we text throughout the day, FaceTime late at night with the coach. I mean, a few other players, you know, we had a bond, a strong bond I had. And I was close to it, but I had a family issue that, you know, I can't speak on at the time. But sure. uh, I ended up having to push it back. But it's commitment coming this time in the future. It's coming pretty soon. Oh, so you are still, like, you're just not going to do it on the 24th? Yes, sir. Okay. What schools are, are actively recruiting you the hardest right now? Auburn, Michigan State, Purdue, Kansas, Louisville, LA Tech, and Arizona State. I know that um, Auburn was an offer that it kind of like it sparked your recruitment a lot. It was like, oh, who did Auburn offer up in Baton Rouge? What is your relationship with the Auburn coaches, and, and how has it kind of developed over the last couple of months? Uh, me and Coach, you know, we text almost every day. Uh, the D.C. might uh, text me. And I'll, I'll be on the fan pages a lot, see what they be talking about. You know, it's crazy. The fan base is crazy. Not too far from home. It's a, it's a nice place up there. What do you see when, when you see them talking? What are some of the... My DMs, they tell me not to go to this school. Come here. It's better up here. <laughs> uh, they tell me about, a lot about the tradition with the toilet roll. They, uh, at the big game, they be somebody, they go down there and throw toilet rolls on the tree. They're like, come be a part of this. Like, why miss out? Is, is the toilet paper in the tree a pretty big selling thing? <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah. It's just funny. It's just funny. I ain't never seen that like it before. <laughs> <laughs> um, Michigan State, um, obviously, Coach Hankton is, is yeah. from uh, this, this area. Yeah, he's from Louisiana. What, um, what about Michigan State and the way they're recruiting you has kind of stood out? Every day, uh, D.C., Coach Hankton, we talk about a lot of stuff down here. You know, like, you don't know, you know, always build about football, I build about family, too. Like, with my family issue right here, he was one of the first coaches to reach out to me. You know, asked was I good, tried to talk to my mom and stuff like that. Uh, like, one of my favorite rappers, he know, he hook up here is like, Coming out here, and I got you. It just, it just, I don't know. We got a good bond, me and Coach Hankton. Like, he probably takes my phone right now. If I check, I can show you. Like, he gonna text me in the morning, afternoon, just to check up on me. Is he like the most active recruit? Like, of all the assistant coaches, is he the one that kind of like stays on your phone the most? Yes, sir. About everything. Um, Purdue, another Big Ten team that you'd have to, you know, go up north a little bit for. Um, what has been the push from Purdue like, and what kind of relationships have you developed with them? Basically, the playmakers. They don't need another playmaker. Uh, you know, downhill. I ain't gonna say we better down DBs down south, but you know it's, it's good to get a DB down south and bring up north to change the culture. And me and Coach Bias, you know that's my second offer. Like before you offer me, like you want more offers, or you want to come somewhere and make a name for yourself and go to the league. And you talk to my moms every day, you talk to me every day. Uh, help, I help recruit a few other players, but uh, that's my guy. You know I got a good son with his son, MJ, Coach Brown, Coach Brady Brown, his son. Like he's just a good bond with us. Um, Louisville. Obviously not on your profile, so no one knows you have the offer. But you do have the offer. Um, they, you know, they got Jamie Vance from New Orleans last year. They, they're slowly making a push in Louisiana. What have they tried to sell you on about coming to Louisville and playing the ACC? I bet when I first got the offer, he was telling me about Jamie. A lot of knew, I knew about him, but I didn't really know too much about him. Being from New Orleans, and I went back and watched his film, and I seen like the type of players and DBs that had in Louisville. It's pretty good, and like they recruiting down here in the South. You know, better DBs and stuff like that. So, what kind of well, who's who's recruiting you for Louisville? Coach Brown. What do you like about him? He cool and laid back. It ain't never about me. He's not pushing for a commitment. He want me to be comfortable whenever I do make my decisions. And hopefully I come there. As laid back as Coach Ricard? Nah. <laughs> Coach Ricard, like, he take, I don't know. He doesn't He doesn't miss eight hours of sleep know, at they, night. I don't even think he sleep at night. And the time we come there, intense. Everything we do is intense. That I, I can vouch for. And then you say can't. Uh, yeah, Kansas, right? Yes, sir. Um, obviously, Les Miles is there. Used to coach down the road at LSU. So, the obvious connection. Coach uh, Coach Chivas obviously played at LSU. What has he been saying about trying to get you to Kansas? Uh, my two biggest recruits, Coach Peterson, Coach Drake. Uh, yeah, them two coaches I talk to. Man. Coach AC. So that's who offered, Coach Peterson offered me. Me and Coach Drake on the phone. Like, we know for another player. We stay on the phone. Like, you know, they, a lot of the coaches that offered me that from, uh, from New Orleans, you know, like, they know a lot about this, uh, the culture down here and stuff like that. Like, he couldn't lay, couldn't lay back. How much have they tried to, like, intrigue you by, like, we're both Louisiana boys, like, I got you when you come here. Like, is that their main thing, or are they taking different routes? That's, that's the main thing. The coaches stuff, they, everybody look like me over there. Like, the coaches stuff, so they, it, they're cool. It's like, they know they know how we can relate. We relate to each other on a lot of different levels and stuff like that. How su oh, my bad. You good, you good. How surprising is that as you hear from a big Power 5 school wherever, around the country and all of a sudden there's a connection to a Baton Rouge in New Orleans 
what is that like to hear that, that um, network? Like, I guess you can tell who from Louisiana by the things that we talk about, the lingos we say and stuff like mm. that. Uh, the foods we eat, like, y'all talk about <laughs> red beans and gumbo and stuff like that. So, I don't know, I think it's just a connection that's Louisiana people have. Is, is there, a, like, obviously, you haven't been able to take a lot of the visits because of the giant bumblebees. Yeah, the um, <laughs> oh, obviously, they've all had to virtually recruit you. Is there, a, have you been to any of those schools, or are they all kind of level because you have to just see them virtually? I haven't visited any of the schools I got off from. That's the crazy part. It, it's, it's very crazy, right? It's just the way that your recruitment has kind of coincided with a pandemic. Have you seen anything on, like, a Zoom call or a FaceTime or anything that's, like, been, like, that's pretty interesting at any one of those schools. Yeah, uh, I mean, it's, I ain't gonna say it's hard to catch feelings for a school, but everything I've seen has been on the computer. Like, it's the hard part about community. I don't want to commit some of what I see on the computer and I get that, and it's totally different. Right. But, uh, I mean, I'm ready. Whenever I'm ready, I'm making my decision. Do you have a date yet? No, not at the moment. Pretty soon, though. Pretty soon. What is, we hear so much now about with these virtual tours that some of the schools are doing. What, I mean, what does that look like when you're sitting in front of your phone or computer? Kind of take me through the process of what one of these schools is, is laying out to, to try and give you as much of a taste as you can get of what a campus visit looks like from your house. I feel like I'm a foreigner. Like, I've never been there before. <laughs> and everything I see is in front of a computer screen and on a phone. I mean, the campuses are nice, the coaches are nice, the place you see players in the facilities are nice, everything is nice. But it just feel weird, like, I can't touch it, I'll be there physically. I don't even know what it smells like. It might, you know, smell funny. But I don't, it's good, it's different to me. If you commit, like, over the summer, like, let's say it's like, maybe it's like in July or something, how anxious are you to take your official visits? Like, even if you commit to a school, like, do you obviously plan to take, like, those, those visits when you can? Uh, immediately. <laughs> You're just trying to get out the house. Yeah, I'm talking about lockdown all summer. I mean, whatever school I do commit, I know that's going to that's be the first official visit I take. Okay. Yeah, hopefully everything go right and I can keep my commitment to this school. Fair enough. When did you realize that you were going to have this level of opportunities? Y'all have had such a, I mean, a, a good recent history at Scotlandville of having guys start to have more opportunities than we had seen a few years ago. Um, guys going really all over the country. When did you realize you were going to be one of those next guys up to kind of carry that lineage forward and, and be recruited heavily and, and have your choice of schools? My first day here at Scotland, I found out about Le Levi Lewis, Kelvin Joseph, and a couple other players. Like, coming into high school, I never knew who. I used to watch them, but I never knew who they were. Mm -hmm. I, I heard about Kelvin Joseph and the LSU offers, Alabama. So I was like, I know my time will come eventually. I just have to wait on my time. And after, over the years, for grace, you know, we sent more guys to college. And then uh, I had a good junior season. So like, after the spring, well, of course, I didn't have a spring this year. But I knew my time was going to come. And uh, I just stayed home and waited my turn. Even with some of those guys now being away from, from Scotlandville for a few years, I mean, got Levi's finishing up his college career already and stuff, do you still feel kind of that – some of the legacy that they left behind, and you, you hear about them a lot and stuff like that is. Yes, like now we actually have a, a name again. Like once Levi and Fat Love, it's like we were just Scotlandville again. We didn't have no big players in class of 2019. And 2020 came, our 2020 class, we had Jonathan Horton signed with Virginia and a couple other players. And now it's the last year, like, you know, now it's me. Like I'm the, I'm the big factor. And we got a few other players so that, you know, got a couple of big offers. So it's basically we can bring the legacy back and I hope we can carry on to our next players to. Chance Williams and Zay, Zay T session them, um, and they continue legacy of uh, uh, big players coming from Scotlandville. I was going to ask you about some of those young guys too. What have you seen from them already? People, I mean, people are looking at Zay in that loaded 2023 class, which seems like it's forever away, right. and he's already getting hype. What do, What do these young guys look like as you're out there playing this with dude, them? I, can't, I don't know. It must be some about left-handed quarterbacks. Like this dude <laughs> sling. When I first started in the first practice, he throwing a bomb just living. Like, Dang, this is a freshman, so it's going to be a long – whoever we play is going to be hard to go out there do. Do we got Chance Williams, Chance 2022, Marlon Thomas, Marlon Gant, killer running back. Like, our offense is going to be loaded for the next few years. 